Today on Talk Fulton, the city of South Fulton transition begins. What all needs to be done and how will the new city impact the county? We will hear from county leaders. We'll also hear from the state representative who is helping the governor with this shift in government. I'm Shawnee Chavis and Talk Fulton starts right now. We're talking today about the new city of South Fulton and how both the county and state will handle the transition of services and transition of power. Now, 59.13% of South Fulton voters said yes to the new city. So now officials are working on how to transfer the municipal services of police, fire, parks and recreation, planning, and even cable, to name a few. So the county's chief operating officer, Todd Long, he is handling the county's transition, sir. Welcome to Talk Fulton. Glad to be here. All right, now, so there is quite a bit of transitioning to do from the county's perspective, and I mentioned some of the departments and agencies that are impacted, but let's review all of them. Tell us what they are. Well, there's actually the four basic core services that are part of the service, special service district we commonly refer to around here as the SSD, which is police, fire, uh, planning and zoning, and parks and rec. But also, in addition to that, you've impact organizations like transportation. We provide transportation for the South District as well as 911 and a, just a whole host of other small entities that, that deal with the, the South area. So it's really a pretty big transaction. And so what will happen first, Todd, in this transition? Uh, are we creating our own transition team? What exactly right. are we doing first? Well, for us, we are going to create an in-house transition team, obviously, so we can get our ducks in a row. and from a finance standpoint, from a management standpoint, from a manpower standpoint, understanding what the impacts could be for us, because we don't know what those impacts are yet, because there is a transition period in the bill that allows really for up to a two-year transition. But we don't know at this point in time how many functions the city will take on, how, many, uh, how soon that will happen, will that happen immediately upon uh, cityhood. But I guess the first step in the process probably is to gather some of our people in-house and have a family meeting to really kind of talk amongst family members about what this could do because these we have a lot of folks that have been here 25 30 years and this is a big change for them in their life right and let's talk about the, the family meetings uh, per se I know that uh, you and our county manager you all are trying to gather the employees together to try to try to ease the fears but but to but to be honest with the facts right Dick Anderson and I are going to meet with the our, our family real soon and we're going to sit down and talk to them and kind of try to answer the questions the best we can but you know, there's a lot of unknowns at this point but let them know that you know this is a little bit different than other corporations i think the the general feeling that i'm getting from the people of south fulton that they they really weren't upset so much with the services they were getting they just wanted the control be closer to home so i we hope and really feel like a lot of the people that are working for us today potentially could be working for the new city in the future and with uh, some of the other cities that uh, incorporated over the, the, the years, I know you weren't here during that time, but you know about them all, right. to, all uh, as well. Uh, the transitions usually took about, what, two years. Do you anticipate that this might take just about as long? It could. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll have to wait and see what the new organizing committee that will be named hopefully soon, kind of what they feel. And then ultimately, you know, nobody knows for sure until those officially elected people go into office at the end of March and uh, you know there could be a runoff so it could even the first steps in the process could drag out till spring and therefore you may you may have at least a year or two for sure I, I would think. And the bottom line here Todd, uh, talk to folks about how the county is uh, just committed to making sure that this transition is as smooth as it can possibly be. Right, you know one of our number one goals at this point is we're providing a service to South Fulton today we're going to keep maintaining a good positive service. We're trying to improve customer service, reaction time. We're doing a lot in South Fulton to make things better, and we're going to continue to do that until really until the city takes over. So we think that we have a great opportunity to make this a very smooth transition so that the the citizens really shouldn't feel the transition just because a policeman works one day for Fulton County and now the next day they work for the city of South Fulton. Really to the citizen that should be transparent. Well, you said it. this is going to be quite the process, so we just ask that you just keep us in the loop as well. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. 
So in addition to the transition of services comes the transition of power. When we come back, details on the upcoming municipal election to put leadership in place. Stay with us, everybody. Welcome back. We're talking today about the new city of South Fulton and the transition of services and transition of power from the county to this now 15th city. So here are the races that will be on the ballot for the new city. There will be a mayor's race and then seven other council seats to fill. The leadership position that will not be on the ballot will be that of the city manager, which will be appointed by the mayor and then approved by council. So, of course, new leadership means new election. Richard Barron is Fulton's Director of Registration and Elections. Thanks for joining us, Ray. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. My pleasure. Well, first things first, um, what does your office have to do to get ready for this? I guess we call it a municipal election, correct? Right. It is a municipal election. We have a, a number of things to do. We uh, have to get the maps set, and then we need to wait for Kennesaw State to give credit for voting for the November election, once they do that, we can move the voters, set the districts, do the audit to make sure all the voters are in the correct place, and then we can start looking towards qualifying the voters, or qualifying candidates. Uh, and so once those have officially qualified, their names will appear on the ballot. Uh, and so when will the municipal election be held? And if a runoff is needed, when will that be? March 21st is the election day for the municipal election and a runoff will be on April 18th. We will have early voting for both of those. That's exactly where I was going. Hey, uh, early voting has proven to be very, very successful. So it's great to hear that absolutely we will have early voting for this municipal election. Yes. And um, final thoughts. What about if folks want to maybe vote in this election that maybe didn't vote in the November election? What's, what's the deal? We need to have people register to vote. Uh, and the deadline for that will be February 20th at 5 p.m. So if you want to register to vote, update your registration, uh, your address, anything along those lines, be sure to register to vote by February 20th. And Rick, you know, uh, piggybacking on something you said earlier about the whole new districts, um, I, will your office tell people what district they're in or where does the burden lie? When somebody comes to qualify, we will verify the address and we'll verify which district that address lies so the person will be able to to register or to qualify as a candidate in the district in which they live. And then the folks who are voting who may not know what district they are, I believe that there are maps available right now for people to figure out where exactly uh, they uh, reside and in what district. Well, Rick Barron, it is always great having you. Thanks so much for your time, sir. I'm gr it was great to be here. Thank you. I appreciate you. Now, if you have questions about the upcoming municipal election, visit FultonElections.com. So we've heard from county officials, but what's next from the state's perspective? We'll talk to one of the main proponents of the measure, State Representative Roger Bruce, when we come back. Stay with us, everybody. We're talking today about the newest city in Fulton County and how its formation will take place from both a services and leadership perspective. Georgia State Representative Roger Bruce from the 61st District has been on the front lines of both the legislative process and now the transition process. Sir, welcome to Talk Fulton. Thank you. Glad to be here. All right. Well, before we talk about what's next, uh, let's explain for those who don't know how we got here. What is the history of the formation of this new city of South Fulton? Well, we, we had a several years ago, uh, it was clear to a group of citizens that uh, the unincorporated area of Fulton County was being picked off by the uh, various existing cities. And if that process continued, that it would ultimately be almost impossible to afford to be able to stay unincorporated because there was just too many people that would have left. 
And, uh, and then people wanted to keep their communities together. They wanted to keep their schools, uh, their local schools intact. Uh, they did not want their they did not want their schools to become part of the Atlanta school system uh, because they were at risk of being shut down for lack of use. So it was a lot of different things that came together that said, okay, it's now time for us to form our own city, take control of our own future. Uh, we had a situation where all of the uh, area is being represented by people who didn't actually live in the area uh, in terms of the county commission. And it wasn't a, a reflection where people were upset with the county commission. It's just that they felt that they wanted to have control of their own destiny and they wanted people who lived in the footprint to be making the decisions so that they would have to live with the decisions they made. And so uh, during the last election, uh, folks went to the polls and uh, they decided that they wanted the new city of South Fulton, uh, which I understand later uh, they'll maybe come up with a different name? Yeah, what, what, what happened is that we divided the area up into seven council districts. And those council districts are composed of a, a lot of different little neighborhood communities. And every community wanted the city to be named after their community. <laughs> and needless to say, you couldn't do that. So the only name that was common to everyone was South Fulton. So that's why we just stuck with that for the purposes of getting the legislation through. And uh, just like Atlanta changed its name several times. Uh, I believe Atlanta's original name was Marthasville. Yes. And uh, so just like they started out with what was appropriate for that moment, uh, it is the intent that at some point uh, the citizens of South Fulton will decide what they want their name to be. All right, so now let's talk about what is next. Um, we understand the, the governor is somewhat taking lead on this in terms of the transition team. Um, right. can, can you explain to us in the past how this has happened and, and how it will happen here? Yeah, ba basically what, what has happened with the other cities, the governor appointed a group of people, uh, and, and I, don't, I don't believe it's ever exceeded five. In some instances, it was as small as three. Uh, people to just kind of start the process while the citizens go through the process of electing a mayor and a city council. There's still some decisions that have to be made by way of budgets, by way of contracts and other things. And uh, this transition team will just simply be a group of people that will hold down the, the barrier, so to speak, while the voters pick, pick their uh, city council people and their mayor. And so let's talk about less about the transition team itself and more about uh, the city moving forward. What are some of the main issues that this city will, will, will have to deal with? Well, you know, just like any other uh, entity, especially while it's new, you're going to be doing probably more than you will over time. But you have the same issues that every other city has, uh, making sure that your streets are, are, are properly maintained, making sure that uh, you provide, you know, services, you know, police services, fire services, and uh, come up with ways to improve the economic uh, prosperity of the city. Uh, all of those things, the same things that any other city is having to deal with in terms of providing good, positive uh, service to the citizens in that city. But this is somewhat of a, a different situation than some of the other cities because uh, would you say that this particular area had somewhat been operating as uh, it, as its own city? It, it has been. You know, years ago uh, there was something that came to be known as the Schaefer Amendment. And what the Schaefer Amendment did, it basically said that all uh, money collected in an area uh, had to remain in that area. So they divided up the unincorporated portion of Fulton County, north and south, and created these special service tax districts. Uh, and by doing that, what you in effect did was create several cities without charters. And all of the other special service tax districts got together and they formed cities. And the only area that was left was the area that we're talking about now, which is South Fulton. And that was the only remaining special service tax district left. And uh, so those individuals, you know, members of that community decided it's now time for us to, to do what everyone else did. 
And, uh, but the difference is we have had almost 10 years now of operating as a city without a charter. So for us, while there's still gonna be some challenges, it's more like just moving names, you know, taking a badge off of the, I don't wanna make it that simple, but basically taking the badge off of South Fulton, uh, off of Fulton County and putting South Fulton on it. And, and uh, as it relates to the police and fire departments. And so at this point, um, I, I know you've been uh, instrumental uh, in the legislation. I know you've got the governor's ear. Uh, once this transition team is in place and does its work, uh, where does that then leave the state? What, what, how will you, will you be governing in terms of just watching and giving support, or, or, or what do you hope to do? You mean me personally? Yes, sir. Okay, I'm, I just was reelected to the state legislature. <laughs> And I have a two-year commitment that, that I'm going to fulfill. Uh, I'm going to help whoever the new mayor is, whoever the new city council is, to get local legislation through because just like anything else, you know, we had to do certain things in order to get the bill passed and make certain modifications to it. Now, as we go forward, we're going to find out what kinds of things need to be changed uh, in our charter to make sure that the city is is prosperous and moves forward. And those changes to the, to the charter have to go through the, the state legislative process. So I see my role as being a continuation of having gotten the bill passed to allow the vote um, and then to help people to understand uh, the positives and the negatives of, of the city. Then now it's, it's to be there to make sure that the local legislation gets passed to fix any mistakes we may have made. Well, sir, it has been a, a long journey, uh, but we just really thank you for your efforts uh, in terms of keeping us posted and keeping us updated. And we yeah. ask you to continue to keep us posted on the progress. I will do that. And, uh, and, and again, I want to emphasize that this was not a, a situation where we were rebelling or anything like that against the county commission. It is nothing like that. It was purely people saying, it's time for us to take control of our own destiny and create our own city and be governed by people who live in the footprint that they're governing. That's all it is. Well, thank you so much for your perspective and, and for all of your uh, assistance with getting the information to our viewers. Uh, please, sir, again, just keep us posted on this progress. Okay. Thank you very much for, thank for you. having me here. Thank you. And we'll be right back. Well, that does it for this edition of Talk Fulton. Special thanks to our guest today and a special thanks to you for watching. We invite you to email us to let us know what topics you'd like to see addressed right here on Talk Fulton. Email us at fgtv.feedback at fultoncountyga.gov. I'm Shania Chavis, and we will see you next time.